All right, we are good to go. Just our two purchases on the auction were this tractor. Let's chainsaw. <laughs> Hey guys, the first part of this video is actually from Nathan and Curtis. That's kind of a treat. On a GoPro I gave to them, I just didn't get the SD card in time for the other videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed them right now. It's actually some unique content. I hope you guys will enjoy. And while you're here, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. Hello, we are here today. We are getting at it. It is April 4th, 3rd. Third egg. Doing some work on the anhydrous toolbar. Doing some upgrades. We did not have this Raven system on. Um, we had the old system where it would run off the tire meter. And uh, this will be a. Yes, it'll be a great upgrade for us. Hopefully, today we'll be able to use it. Yeah. I'll put all new wiring on it. Hope we'll be able to run her. Nathan's gonna head down to uh, Peterson Farm, Smith Farm. He's gonna haul some manure with Pat. Today we are headed down to our south farm and we're gonna haul the rest of the manure that we have piled up. Get her hauled out and chisel that field that we just are gonna haul the manure on. Pretty busy today. It's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter everybody. The weather is nice so we gotta take advantage. We got some rain coming the next couple days even though it's only April 4th. Um, we're able to get at it, get in the fields, do some chiseling, and we're even doing some anhydrous. Hopefully by the end of tomorrow, we'll have cover, a couple hundred acres of anhydrous in. Sounds like Ronald's heading up to Bellevue with the uh, drill, and he's gonna sow some oats, fix some waterways up there. A little bit of that work needs done before it rains, so. Be a good thing to get done and hopefully in a couple weeks we'll be able to start planting. Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Heart Tug Family Farms. And today, it's a beautiful Monday morning, April 4th. Guys are in the fields, we are in the fields. We are right now, Nathan is down south chiseling in the cat at his new farms down south. And then he's actually gonna head over to Long's and he's basically gonna bring the cat home today. He's got a lot to chisel ahead of him, but he's gonna get on it. Pat and uh, Brian and my dad are probably gonna start doing anhydrous down basically finish up around here and then head down south. I am not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I do know that I just got a USB for the uh, new tractor that we have. Yes, we have a new tractor on the farm, and yes, it is from that auction. I'm gonna show it to you guys a little bit later, but aren't you guys excited? I know I am. But anyway, we needed to put all of our data from our fields on that tractor, so I have a new memory stick I just went picked up from our local Case IH dealership, Kunal Equipment. So I'm gonna go, I just saw, copied it over from one of our other Pro 700s. I'm gonna go put some data on that uh, on that Pro 700 right now through this flash drive and then we're gonna get moving. Pat is going through the anhydrous bar and grease and everything and the new tractor. They just changed the oil on it. We are gonna be good, so let's get moving. Oh, new tractor's alive. Alrighty, here she is. The brand new to us, 2012. Case IH 340 Magnum with a chrome stack. It's got 3,200 hours on it. Well, probably a little bit more now. 3,216 hours. Bought it on that auction on this video right here. Still hauling. Thought we would uh, be done by now, but we had to haul out that corner. 
that was like four loads which is way more than I thought it would be and now we're doing the other shed where the feeders were before pretty busy wish I was chiseling with that thing right now but short on help so gotta do what you gotta do I'm trying to get all the manure out before we get get everything chiseled up and ready to plant so gotta do it spreading going about 11th gear about 7 mile an hour the flats so it's really nice Nothing better than a good old Iowa sunset. It's a beautiful night. Yep. Okay. All right. Time to go grab some grub and then they're going to head off and I got a couple things I want to do around here. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna go fill this thing up with fuel. And I'm actually gonna take this thing down to our south farm. We're gonna start rolling. Fold this thing up. This is our DMI 4250 and Hydrus toolbar. And I just realized there's a wrench on there I need to grab. There we go. Now I'll pull this thing around and go start filling up with fuel. This morning, I am up at Butch's, hauling out this corner. It's supposed to rain tomorrow or Wednesday, so we're trying to get all the manure out and uh, get things chiseled up, hopefully. Where the manure was hauled, later today I'm gonna be chiseling and I'll uh, take you guys along with the ride. This 340 Magnum is fueling up, so just a quick, uh, some info on this tractor, guys. So this tractor, like I said, we bought on that auction, the Smith auction that Steffi group put, group put on, oh, last week or so. This tractor was actually owned by a good family friend of ours. We know how well it was taken care of. It went for about what price it should be. It didn't go for a steal, but we didn't overpay for it. It's got 3,200 hours. It's got chrome stack, so I mean, it makes that 340 horsepower turn into like 380 with that chrome stack easy. So like I said, we're adding it to the fleet just because the 8050 is getting a little bit older. It's actually back up at Kuno's getting some work done on the engine. So it's nice to have a fourth high horsepower tractor that, you know, if any one of the fleet goes down, we can rotate, you know, and if they're all up, they'll all have their own jobs. Want to be on the anhydrous bar, want to be on the bean planter, want to be on the corn planter, want to be on the manure spreader. So it's nice to have another tractor as a backup, that's for sure. But like I said, this is our new Lust tractor. She's pretty nice, in real good condition. Lights are a little bit faded. Got a replacement from these. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. So yeah, this thing is a nice looking tractor. That is for sure. All right, we are good to go. So let's get moving. I got the anhydrous rig behind me. Tires are free. All right, let's get going. There's my dad right there. He's gonna take the other tank down, I believe. We are moving in the new 340 Magnum. Cue time lapse. Alright, we're rolling. Just rolled through Goose Lake. It's a nice wide train, or a nice long train, I should say. I'm pulling the bar and I'm pulling a tank. So that's a lot of weight behind me and I gotta be careful.
There's neighbors running their newer New Holland. Probably a T something. I'm not even sure actually. Putting on anhydrous. They actually have a liquid manure tanker injecting liquid manure over there as well. Neat. You look real closely, Nathan's over there in the cat chisel. Or the cat challenger at the chisel. He's working ground, he's got probably another hour left here. All right, made it here. Here's the ground we're gonna go. So basically we got 147 acres in this field right here. Yeah, that's right, 147, yep. We also got 30 acres in that pasture piece Nathan is working on. And we got another couple 10 acre strip. Well, maybe not quite 10 acres. Maybe like five acres or so in this fenced off area. So we're gonna have like 170 acres of corn here, 180, somewhere on there. It's all right. Then we got another 30 acres of beans that'll be in the back. We also, here's, here's all the manure that uh, Nathan and Pat hauled out yesterday. I'm gonna unfold it, get everything ready to go, and Brian should just about be here. He's gonna take this over, and hopefully I'm gonna head up uh, back home, run it around the side by side for a couple hours, then take the chisel up to Bellevue. All right, we are ready to roll. Well, I'll well give you guys a tour of the new tractor. So this tractor like, is a very, very, very similar to our 2018 Case H340 Magnum. Similar horsepower. Um, it may or may not be tuned up a smidge. This one's got a chrome stack, the other one doesn't. This one's got the older style cab roof. So a little bit older electrical architecture, older roof styling. Radio is very similar, a little bit older though. This is the same, this is the same, this is the same. All of this here is the same. The emissions is different on this tractor compared to our 2018. This is a tier 4A, where the uh, uh, 340 is a, the newer 340 is a tier 4B final. So basically the long and the short of it, I don't know the uh, whole differences, but I do know that the newer 340 has a big canister right here for uh, basically for burning and injecting def, where this one's just got a, I'm not sure what it has, but it uses a lot less def than the new one. This one's got 3,200 hours. The only one, the other one only has 500. And I will say, we did buy that auger as our other purchase. So our two purchases on the auction were this tractor, this 340 Magnum, and that auger. That auger we bought because we're gonna be running this grain setup as well. And there's a pit here, but you need somewhere to move grain from the pit up to that wet bin. So that's what that auger used to be for it and we bought it uh, for us so that we could use it. There she is and it's beauty. She needs a good wax, wax job, but that's the job for after spring. Now this work just has to earn her, earn her keep. That's some tough ground in there. That cat is working. A lot of compaction, a lot of cattle manure down there. I saw that cat was really struggling. All right, Nathan's heading the longs to go chisel. Brian and Pat are just getting started in, with that hydrus. I'm gonna take the blue pickup, gray pickup, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna take that thing home, unhook it off the cattle trailer, put the flatbed back on it, put the grapple bucket on the skid loader, and take the skid loader longs now. All right, I'm just taking the trailer and the truck and gooseneck cattle trailer. I'm gonna take that home, unhook it, and hook onto the flatbed, and load that up and head south. All right, made it back. Gonna unhook this thing now. I just got a call from Pat saying that uh, we're actually gonna be getting our first load of seed corn in today. So, I gotta stick around here. I can't go down to Long's right away with the skid loader. I gotta stick here and unload that. Alrighty, so what we do when we get our seed corn in, we basically just stack it up along this wall. I don't know if I'll stack it or not. I might just unload off the trailer and get rid of it. But anyway, I gotta move this head out of the way, air up that tire first, start that Magnum, get that Magnum backed out of the way, the other 340 that we got now. Get that out of the way and then we should be good and i'll just probably wait for that trucker to get here but let's go ahead and move some stuff out of the way i'm gonna try and uh hook this thing up to the skid load or the four-wheeler because 
I don't have nothing. I don't have anything small enough to fit this. Wish me luck. That four-wheeler did not ha quite have quite enough oomph for weight to pull that thing, so I just had to back it, and I got it close enough. So now I'll just pull the chisel out. That truck will be here in about 15 minutes. Might buzz around the side by side for a bit. Nothing better than spring water, well water. Pretty delicious. Moving the 190 out of the way. I'm gonna take this bucket with me when I go to uh, down to Longs. All right, let's go ahead and pull this 340 out. Get the skid loader, put the put the pallet forks on. And I'll probably sweep this area out so we can get the dust out of there. thing out I'm just pulling this thing out of the way just like I said because that's where we, this thing was sat sitting right where we part where we uh, set our seed when we get it we're gonna be getting in our Cornelius seed this is a bulk of our corn acres where we get that from so that semi should be coming here soon That's about fell. All right, let's sweep up a little bit. Just make sure we don't set the seed on really anything gross. I'm just gonna sit and fester. So we'll sweep up. I put the chainsaw on, on the flatbed. Once we get done unloading seed, I'm gonna stick the skid loader on there and then hopefully stick the side-by-side -side on there as well. We'll see. All right, so seed corn guy is here. Gonna get, take our Cornelius seed and we're gonna stack it right there. Here we go. All right, just got our seed from Cornelius. Now I'm gonna load up the skid loader and try to load the side-by-side -side all at once on this flatbed. It's gonna be a heavy load. Now let's head down the longs. Let's get moving. Load it up, strap down. Let's head down to Long. So we got probably hours, probably an hour and a half of dark just by the time I get down there. Of light, I should say. Maybe two hours, but you literally need to get moving. There's the butt man. Hauling tanks. It's that time of year. Making it up to the long farm. Sweet. Good enough. Now I'll whip it around and unload the skid loader. 
Alrighty, so Brian and I are gonna be down here. Brian decided to join me. Him and Pat switched out doing an hydrus. So Pat's doing an hydrus, my dad's running tanks. Nathan is chiseling on this farm, but on the other end of this farm, we're uh, he's gonna chisel this field that we're gonna go to next. That we're gonna go chop trees at, but the problem is he can't get at everything because of the trees in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and move some, move some trees. It's gonna be fun. So I'll be running the chainsaw. Brian will be in the skid loader and the grapple bucket. A lot of trees and whatnot need to be trimmed here. Making good progress here. So basically I'll cut all the trees down that are leaning and Brian will come clean it up, push them into the timber. What I'm doing is I'm just working ahead of Brian cutting down the trees and he's just pushing them into the timber. Just so we can try and reclaim some of our timber back or some of our field back I should say. All right, so my chain's getting very loose. I called my dad, he's on his way down with another tank. So I had him stop at the farm and grab a couple tools for me. So I need a half inch wrench and a flathead screwdriver. So I'm gonna go grab them from him. And plus my chain was so loose that when I cut the last tree down, it jammed it, jammed one of the links outside the bar. So I'm stalled until I can detention anyway. So, all right, let's go grab some. All right, here's the bud man. He's gonna drop me some tools off. So we do, that grapple bucket is handy. All right, this field is done. So now I'm gonna go to that field. There's actually a tree island right on the other side of the trees. We're gonna go tackle next before it gets too dark. a great job to do but it's a hard job my lord Whew. I'm gassed and I really should have wore long sleeves yeah. all cut up but I guess I didn't expect to be doing this today but hey it is what it is so we're almost done it's almost dark out I should say that's gonna force us to be done <laughs> getting there I just cut down three massive trees but having that skid steer here is really nice I just gotta make one cut and he just picks it up like that's a big tree and he just man handles it with that 340 perfect yeah it works out pretty nice I fell the trees and he comes behind and and uh, picks them up and pushes them into the timber and people do wonder how do we put so many hours on that skid steer well, I mean, we're going to put probably 10 hours on that thing today, six hours out in the woods and four hours feeding cattle. Plus we, you know, we haul manure. We, we, we put a lot of hours on those things. Oh guys, I am gassed. It's been a good day so far. So we got about one more pass down on the other side of this tree island. Then we're going to call it good for the day. It's going to be good enough. I should say it's going to be dark and we got to take this stuff home. Let's chainsaw. <laughs> Oh. 
Look at this. It's a happy sight. All the trees that are down on these two fields are taken care of. Whew. These were getting bad. This was definitely our worst two fields on that we that we run. So we're so glad that we were able to take this back. Probably we'll get a couple acre, couple uh, maybe half an acre to an acre out of it. So it equals like 100 bushels of corn that we wouldn't have had without. So do the math. Say half of that goes to production cost. So 50 bushel times five bucks, that's 250 bucks that was worth clearing these. And that was just this year. So it's definitely worth it for us to come here and mend these, to trim these trees or thin these tree lines. A lot of weight, Brian's tugging around that SV340. That K skid steer is a beast. It handles these woods perfectly. Really can't ask for much more. He's gonna come through and manhandle this tree. Maybe he just used the grapple. Let's we'll see if he has it. Nope. Woohoo! Nice job today, old steed. I'm gonna go ahead, take, put the skid loader back, head up to grandma's, go grab a bite to eat, and then peace the F out, because I am gassed, I am itchy, I'm scratched up to all the beat to heck. So yeah, it's a, uh, I want a shower. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now.